picture this. It's 1967. A young PhD student, just 24 years old, is hunched over a massive chart recorder. Miles of paper scroll by, day after day, capturing faint whispers from the cosmos. Suddenly, she spots it. A tiny smudge, a bit of scruff, as she called it, on over 100 feet of paper. It's a signal, a pulse, repeating with almost unbelievable precision. Every 1.337 seconds, like a perfect cosmic clock. What in the universe could be sending such a signal? Her name was Jocelyn Bell Bernal, and she had just stumbled upon one of the greatest astronomical discoveries of the 20th century. But her journey was just beginning, and it would be filled with doubt, ridicule, and a level of injustice that would echo for decades. When she first showed the strange signal to her supervisor, he dismissed it. It's just interference, he said, probably man-made, but Jocelyn wasn't convinced. The signal was too regular, too precise. It appeared at a specific time each day, a sidereal day, meaning it was keeping time with the stars, not with clocks on Earth. It had to be coming from space. As she and her team investigated further, the mystery only deepened. The signal was so bizarre, so unlike anything seen before, that they half-jokingly nicknamed the source LGM-1. LGM stood for Little Green Men. Could it be? An alien civilization trying to make contact? 